Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3. So, Hanel and the kids still haven't made it back yet. It's getting kind of late, so we're going to go check on them in the forest. Woof, woof, please take me with you. I'm sure I'll be helpful. Take Boney with you? Of course, man. Why would you not take Boney with you? Boney is awesome. So, Boney has joined your party, and he is actually a main party member, believe it or not, uh, unlike Thomas. We actually have two different characters we can control now, and as we go into the status, as we can see, Boney does indeed have all his own stuff, his own equipment, so awesome. He, he's a little bit weaker than Flint is at this point, but you know, that's to be expected. If the dog was as strong as Flint, that'd be a, a little bit weird. So the sheep look cold. Well, I don't know. I mean, they're in the shade. I guess it would be a little bit cold. It always does get a little colder when it rains, so I guess I can understand that. Alright, so now we're heading north. I think we can stop by... Uh, nope, it's pretty late out, so it would be best not to bother people. We still can't go into Thomas's Bazaar yet. But we will, all in due time. So, uh, looks like all the people have gone out to help us search for Hanawa. Looks like everyone went to the prayer sanctuary. I really want to help you out, honest. I'm totally just the guy to help you out. <laughs> so he runs away, okay. Uh, it's, uh, there's a leader here. He's not ringing the bell anymore. But you can't talk to him or anything. I'm hitting the button right now and nothing's happening. So I guess he just doesn't say anything. All right, so let's head back into the forest again. Uh, hey, uh, some people around here. Oh, there you are, Flint. I ask everyone to split up and search the forest for Hinawa. That's good. You've been blessed with kind friends. That must be true happiness in one sense. Yeah, well, pretty much. That's, I was kind of touching on that earlier in the last part. But... Alright, so who's this guy? I'd like to join the search, but they told me to stay here because I'm old. Ah, oh, Wes. Wes is so cool. Seems nobody's aware of just how strong I really am. Yeah, that's pretty much the truth, actually. So, uh, it's, they said people were gathered at the prayer shrine, but I don't see anybody here, so let's just head on back out. And, uh, so I guess they're already searching for Hinawa, which is good. We'll see if anyone's made any progress. Alright, that's cold rain. I don't like it. It doesn't seem like it's ever going to stop. And it kind of does look that way, doesn't it? Hinawa promised she'd teach me how to make delicious donuts. Well, I'm sure she will as soon as she gets back. Oh, man, we got another battle again. Oh, well, we get to show off Boney this time, so that's good. Uh, Boney has another ability called Sniff. Uh, we can sniff the enemy. And it'll give us some information. It smells like an animal, smells weak against fire, it smells weak against strangeness. It'll pretty much just tell us its weaknesses. Uh, you know, in case we ever really care about that sort of thing. I uh, will take this out. And there we go. 20 experience points, and we get some nut bread. Alright, so let's just, uh, actually, I think, can we go into Isaac's house yet? Nope, no problem. Well, okay, yeah, I guess we can, alright. So there's Isaac. I'm in the middle of slowly but surely devising a plan for finding Hinawa. And we can also check this thing on his table. There's lots of antidotes. Take one. So we can get an antidote. I'm actually going to get a couple of these, just in case we run into some poisoning. Because you never know. It's always good to be prepared. Uh, let's just make our way up. Oh, well. See, that's another thing that happens. Other enemies will come by and join the battle. Uh, so beware of that, I suppose, if you're worried about getting overrun. Alright, so let's just take out this one. Man, I cannot combo for anything right now. That's okay, though. It doesn't matter. We don't really need it at this point, anyway. So, we keep heading north back into the forest. And, uh, I think these guys are still the same. I guess we could check one out. Oh, no, this is a baked yeah, monster. It's a little different. It's a little bit stronger. Twelve. Nice. This one, this song is a little bit, uh, is a little bit weird. It seems faster than it should be, but I don't know. I guess that might just be me. So Bunny's level is now seven. Awesome. Get some stat upgrades. And Owen seems to have a good head on her shoulders. Not you though. You're pretty careless. So I bet you forgot to bring antidotes. Despite the fact that the place is teeming with mighty bitey snakes everywhere, here you can have one of my antidotes. If you don't think that'll be enough, you can always get some more. Yep. We've got plenty actually. So <laughs> I'm more prepared than you think. All right, and this is the Mighty Bitey Snake. We can uh, attack it from behind here and take it out. Really not that strong. So we get an antidote. Hey, what do you know? So uh, let's talk to some more of the people around here. I didn't realize it before because the flames were so intense at the time. It looks like this area over here got hit really bad by the fire too. 
this area over here. Yeah, we could check this out because it's blocked off by flames. Uh, so this is this is Reggie. Reggie's cool. A fire, then rain, and then children smiles. It will be all right. Reggie knows it. Yeah, I believe you. Oh, we got another mighty mighty snake here. And you also might have noticed that each character kind of has its own sound whenever you hit them. Uh, Boney's got his own little barking, which is pretty cool. It's, it sounds pretty neat at different points. And of course, each character we pick up along the way will have different sounds. So, we'll look forward to that. Hey, a present down here. And we get an antidote, <laughs> as if we don't have enough of those. The forest still smells burnt. Well, I guess it was a pretty big fire. Oh <laughs> yeah, it pretty much encompassed the whole thing, didn't it? Alright, so let's uh, head on north through here. Avoid the enemies, because that's how we all need to fight them. Klaus is a troublemaker, so I bet he's hiding around here somewhere, watching us worry our heads off. Well, look, it's a crybaby, so I bet he's probably in tears by now. But, hey, man, that, that's my son. You know, you, you don't talk like that about my son. Jeez. Oh, we got a snake again. Nice, 11. Pretty good. Ooh, hey, what do you know? We got poisoned. So, Flint took damage from the poison, and uh, that's basically what'll happen. You know, poison's pretty much the same in almost every game. You take damage, and uh, uh, we leveled up there. But if you walk around with poison, I'm pretty sure it does actually stick around outside of battles. And uh, if we walk around enough, as you can see, it looks a little bit blurry every now and then, and that means we're taking damage. So, as you can see, he's still poisoned. So we just get our goods. Hey, our inventory's full already. What do you know? We got a lot of antidotes. So let's just use one on Flint and uh, heal him up just a little bit. Let's use a nut cookie. And that'll work. Alright, we keep heading north then. Oh, there's a present over here. And we get some beef jerky. Alright, that's a pretty good recovery item for this point in the game. We've been calling their names for a while, but there's been no response at all. You think maybe they're not in this area? Uh, seems like the case. Klaus and Lucas will come racing here before long to have some of the slightly unclean and not very tasty cookies of mine. Uh, I don't know about that. Come on, open it. A mini mini charm. All right, cool stuff. Now uh, we can equip that on the body. Uh, as you can see, it actually brings bony stats down. That's what it says up there in the top left. It'll bring Flint's up and bony's down. So let's equip it on Flint. And now we've got uh, all of our body parts covered with equipment. You know, his father lives right past here, but. Ooh, wow, the path's blocked off by a tree there. Oh, lightning. Can't believe my eyes. Just look at this, Flint. These huge trees were snapped right in two. How can such big trees get ripped down like this? It's one thing for sure. Whatever did this, it wasn't human. And no, it wasn't me. <laughs> well, yeah, I didn't think it was there, Bronson. What do we do now? They have the path completely blocked. Actually, Hanawa and the kids might still be stuck out there because of all these knockdown trees blocking the way. Oh, well, it could be. Even if it's not the most direct path, we should look for another way around. It's probably best if we split up into a few groups. Sounds like a plan. So we can't make it through here right now. Hey! But that's actually the path that would take you to Alex's house, so. Have you found Hanawa and the kids? No, not yet. Why are you sure you're in good enough shape to be out here? I'm always in good enough shape. Don't treat me like some injured clod. All right, <laughs> whatever you say, man. We'll take care of things here. You keep pushing on ahead, Flint. All right, so they're gonna take care of the tree. Let's see what Phil has to say. My dad lives life with lots of energy, so he's not like regular people. Mr. Flint, my dad will do his best. I'm sure he will. All right, so for the time being, yeah, it's like these guys. We still haven't found Hanawa or the kids, but there's no problem here. <laughs> the fact that we haven't found them is a pretty huge problem, if you ask me. <laughs> you guys. See, they, they're pretty much like the, the comic shtick, sort of, you know. So, there you go. They can be kind of fun to talk to at times. I hope Hanawa's all right. Yeah, me too. Jonal and the others are all gathered at the bottom of the cliff over there. I wonder if something's happened. Uh, maybe. Let's go check it out. There's Bateau. All the forest critters are acting weird. I'm suddenly getting real bad vibes here. Oh no, I mean that in a good way. What I meant to say is I'm getting good bad vibes, if, if that makes sense. Bump, bump. <laughs> Whatever. It's just a guess, but I'd say a Drago climbed up from here. 
Oh yeah, those. <laughs> I guess those would be big enough for uh, Drago claw prints there. See those claw marks? This would certainly belong to a Drago, but why would a Drago claw at stuff like this? Even enough to leave gashes in rock, even. Such peaceful creatures. Yeah, pretty much. You get the feeling like something very bad is happening to the forest, the people, the animals, and me. That's what I was talking about earlier. Alright, so it appears as though uh, some weird things have been happening in the forest. We can't really find Hinawa because our path is blocked. Uh, but in the next part, we're going to go uh, search a little bit further. So until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.